everyone and welcome back to my place. I'm as excited as I was at the beginning of the Great Botanical Journey. It just gets more visually interesting and I am loving it. If you've got any questions or you'd like me to investigate a flower, please do direct message me to my Astis Place on Instagram. I'm here to spread the love of flowers because I think it's important in these times. Now, the first journey we went to Ruby Orchids and I did a whole heap of designs using the orchids. And I've still got one that is still going weeks and weeks later. And I love that about Cymbidium orchids. Now I've got some tulips, the first tulips of the season from my garden. And I want to share how you can use Cymbidium orchids that are kind of in a crossover season with beginning of the season fresh tulips. I also want to share that you can take the blooms of the foliages of spring and incorporate them into a very easy long lasting arrangement. So not only have I got the little baby tulips which are smaller than what I visually thought they'd be when they went into the garden, but that's okay. It is just the beginning of the spring. Now I've also got here some tea tree or manuka as it is called here. We produce beautiful honey in this country and this is what the bees love and it's got really high numbers. I think that it's I don't know how I'm going to say this, but I, honey has different varyings of numbers. I don't know what's behind that, but maybe we could go and talk to a bee grower about the honeys. No, stop it. We're here to do flowers. Anyway, so I've got some manuka that I want to use with it. And I've also got a couple of little bits of blue gum. Artificial, but it's too wet to go outside. Now, I want to share how you can incorporate all of these forms into a very lovely, small design because you have asked for them. So I am here to serve is your needs. To begin, into this container here I've got some water and I've put a little bit of bleach into it because I want to keep everything nice and bacteria free. I have used a little bit of chicken mesh on the top. If you haven't got access to, to foam, I've actually gone off foam because I don't think it's violet, it's very good for the environment. So I'm going back to using the wine to be perfectly honest. You get a, actually a nice firm base in which to hold your flowers because that's all we want well structure but anyway so into here I'm going to put in a few aurelia leaves and I'm just going to put those around the side and I'm sticking those down in amongst the oh I don't want that one yet in amongst the wire and that's just going to add and give me a nice little base in which to place my flowers also, what I want to do is I want to cover that wire so that can go down and into there. Now the next to go in is going to be a couple of bits of the eucalyptus. Love the colour of this, it's got that new growth on it. That can go down into there like so. Oh, look at that. Now to get your right proportions, it's one and a half times the width or the height of the container, whichever is the greater. This is longer than it is high. So I'm going to make this sort of like, and like not too elongated, just a little bit sort of like encapsulate the moment like a still life. Now with this here, I absolutely love this. I'm just going to put a couple of bits of that down into there. And the reason I'm using it is because when we're at Mangrove Creek Farm, I saw this manuka or tea tree growing and I thought, oh, that is just so beautiful. I've got an idea for that and to incorporate in with the cymbidiums. And when you see the cymbidiums, look, there's nature's signpost, a little bit of red, which is exactly the same color as into here. I oh, love that. Now, what's happening into here? Get into there. I should really be cutting these, so I will cut because I've been trying to encourage everybody to not do as I do and to do it properly. And if we do it properly, then things last. And I think that that's what we need to just focus on. Get into there and I'll just get that bit there. The it's only a wee sad thing about using the tea tree, it doesn't actually last very long, but that's okay because while it's around, just I say just use it. So I'm just going to bring that down and into there, and I've got a little bit at the back here. Oh, stop that. 
bit rough here. Get that, cut that bit off there, and I just want a couple of bits round and in the back here, just to make it give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. Going into there, I need a little thicker bit for across the back here. So I just bring that down and into there like so. Oh, it's great that wire. Okay, so there we are, and my front is around there like so. Now let's put the little baby tulips in. Now the great thing about tulips is once cut and placed, now that's not going to fit, once placed into water, the great thing about these is they continue to grow. And Constance Spry was once was known to say, some tulips last so long you almost have to take a dust to them. I love that because they do. Not only were into a container do they continue to grow, they actually will grow to the light so they get a bit of beautiful movement with them. Now this one here, I'm just going to bring that down and into there. And you know that these are going to want to droop down. So just place them and let them do whatever they want to do. Oh, I thought I only had five of these. Ah, I planted hundreds of these at, well not hundreds, I planted lots and lots and lots of spring blooms. See that leaf there, how it's looking like that? See that? Get rid of it. Get rid of it because it's not going to do what you want it to do and you're just going to be continuously fighting with it. Right, so what I've done is I've just put them in like that and I just want it to look like they're growing naturally and then the last thing to go in is going to be the Cymbidium orchid. Now, hopefully that... Oh, wait a minute, I've got to turn it around. Might not be happy with where that's going. I'm not happy with where that's going. I need to just be positioning that to the way I want it to go. Look at that. How's that? Small, both seasons, last a long time. It's got a little bit of the the solidness of the orchid. Look at those gorgeous colours there. I've used the, and you might be thinking, why did she use white tulips? The reason I use white tulips is because my container was white. So that just blends everything in together. I love this design. Easy to put together and says a lot. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. See you again another day.